In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one true God. How are you today? I'm doing so good. We've only supposed to have been open for about 44 minutes for the pantry. And as soon as I unlocked the door, which was probably three hours ago, folks have been coming in. You're hungry? You're welcome. No qualifying. I find it totally offensive. Don't look over your shoulder either. I ask you if you've gone shopping at Kroger's or Walmart. I tell you, go on in. Bags there, just boxes over there. What you like. Yes, there are some women. But the more food that we get, and we get it all for free, and not with food drives from some really unofficial community partner. The Cultivate, Good Refuge, Milford Food Bank, Food Rescue US, and some stores that they would throw it away. You'd be surprised what they get thrown in dumpsters. And it's not just food. So far this year, I think we have handed out three, maybe four, transportation chairs. Now, a transportation chair is, it's a wheelchair. It's lightweight. They were brand new in the brand new boxes. I have a walker. I have another walker out here waiting for somebody. If it came from CVS, they were going to throw them away. If you need something, let me know. I may be able to go and find it for you. I beg well. There are lots of reasons. That we feed people. Most people know the story of my mother. She raised me since I was 13 to be a priest, and I'm in my 70s. According to her, my first job, and the first job of all priests, of all pastors, all churches, not just the first one, she said, your only job is to feed people. So we do. Two weeks ago, my mother turned 101. And when I told her what I was doing when she asked, I got a great big smile and a huge hug. You see, I work for hugs, my mother's. I get you the food, and my mother pays for it. With a big smile and a hug. And as much as some people laugh at that, my mother is theologically correct. How many times does the pastor talk about how the miracle of Christ feeding 5,000? Christ did not feed 5,000. What Christ did was he told his disciples, go get some food. Brought it to him. He prayed over it. He blessed it. Told them, feed them. And the disciples handed the food out. When they got done, there was food left over. I call it the first food rescue. Christ expects you and me to do the same thing. He will pray over the food. He will bless the food. You go find it. And you give it out to your brothers and sisters. And Christ makes no exception. 
not one place in the New Testament does he make exception. The 5,000, he fed them all. Didn't worry about if they were qualified. Yeah, one thing. Are you hungry? They have food for you. And that's what we do here. Your community pantry located inside the Monastery of the Holy Martyrs. We're a Syriac Orthodox monastery. There is nothing religious that we do. You want to know something about us? And when you come in and ask, I'll tell you. If you want prayers while you're here, ask and you get them. We're like a grocery store. Come on in and go shopping. We open up seven days a week at one o'clock. But almost always this is a monastery and I live here. And the door unlocks. You can come in and go shopping. And if our hours don't work for you, message me or call me. We'll make them work. Or you may be in one of the areas where one of our outreach teams brings it to your door. Don't deliver, but we have some outreach teams to do it. Plus, we help some folks to get the idea right. Like our friend who has a pantry on her front porch in Walkerton. The front porch pantry. There's another one in Mission Walker. like the idea and you want to help, I can use some help. There are places that want to give us food. I need people who want to go out and rescue that food. Call me, message me. Right now, I'm waiting for somebody to help me one more pickup on a regular basis of Panera Bread. They all, we already pick up from two locations regularly every week. Day old bread. Not a thing wrong with it. And people really love those cookies. I like the cinnamon rolls. I promise not to eat all of them. What else do we have? The other thing I need your help for is you've got to come down. I have these packages of strawberry ice cream. And I'm being forced to eat all of them. Come down and help me so I don't have to. And I'll give you more than one little bowl. I have big chunks of strawberries. Monastery is located at 1000 South Michigan Street in Plymouth, Indiana. You're on the corner across the street from Webster Elementary School. Come down, go shopping, put food on your table. And if you have a neighbor or a friend, a brother, a sister, or a cousin who needs some food, come down and get it for them. And always remember, everyone is qualified. You don't have to prove who you are, where you live, where are you from. Walk up the steps, open the front door, and come in and say, I'm hungry, where's the food? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.
one true God. Really, one true God. Amen.